had a couple people suggest that I put the video together that uh, it goes through my gray water recycling project. Uh, I've had this set up for about a year and a half now and uh, it's worked great. And this is a project that's really simple, uh, something easy that you can do. Your biggest obstacle is going to be where your washer and dryer are located um, in conjunction with how you're going to get that water to a storage container. But the way this works is this is your uh, discharge hose that's on the back of every washing machine. And usually this hooks down into your utility box, which dumps into your sewer system. And that's all we're doing is simply bypassing that and creating an option to go out uh, to a storage container. So what we do is uh, all of this is one inch PVC and uh, using a couple valves here, we simply direct the water where we want it to go. Now one thing, uh, one trick that I suggest is when you set up your valves, if you'll put one on a horizontal axis and one on a vertical axis, you can quickly look and make sure that your valves are in the correct position. Um, and what I mean by that is you want both of them running in the same direction. In this configuration, uh, the water is blocked by this one because it's turned perpendicular to the flow of the pipe where and then is redirected down and this is running parallel to the direction of the pipe and so thus flows and goes down into the sewer. So what you don't want to happen is your valves like this or vice versa. And what that's going to do is is basically, well, in this this configuration it'll actually drain either way, but if you run into a situation like this, then both of them are blocking and you're going to have a backup. Uh, on your hands and create a big mess. So that's just a little trick uh, that I discovered when setting this up. But anyway, if you want to recycle this and store it for later use, you simply turn your valves and the water is blocked from going into the sewer and goes on out and this is a punch through the wall and storage container outside. So here's the setup outside. As you can see we still have the same one inch pipe and it just punches through the wall and then dumps directly into our storage container. And as far as the storage setup I have here, uh, these are two 55 gallon poly drums and joined together um, with another section of, of one inch pipe. Um, and as you remember on the rain catchment, um, the uh, 55 gallon drums will have these two inch bungs. Um, the thing to remember though is one will be the fine thread, which you can get the PVC adapter for, and the other will be a coarse thread. So whenever you're connecting them, make sure that you have them oriented the correct way so you can uh, use both of the, uh, the fine threads. Uh, and then down at the bottom, um, in the middle of the bung will be a little uh, punch out piece of plastic that you can knock out and it's threaded on the inside and that fits a uh, three-quarter inch I believe um, and so I just have a, a brass nipple here and then a, a water spigot and this will you know I, I can just attach a hose and drain it to uh, you know a new tree or you can set up a drip line irrigation uh, to a flower bed or, or what have you. Now laundry detergent is the key to a successful gray water recycling system if you buy just any old laundry detergent, you're essentially poisoning whatever you're putting the water on and you're just going to kill stuff. Uh, what you want to look for is something that is biocompatible and not necessarily biodegradable. The reason that is, is the main laundry detergent brands uh, try to persuade you or trick you in, into thinking that their laundry detergent is safe. Um, for instance, the, all of the free and clear, um, the brands that, that now advertise the free and clear, um, they will say that everything is biodegradable. Well, that may be true, but what happens is almost anything is biodegradable eventually. And one of the problems is some stuff, uh, some ingredients in, in some soaps, uh, may not be as harmful when they're in the bottle, but actually when they biodegrade, they actually turn into something that can be toxic. Um, so the breakdown of that molecular structure actually creates a new molecule that is toxic. Um, so what you want to do is find the biocompatible. And what that is, is, is 
it, it, the ingredients in here will biodegrade, but what they biodegrade into is compatible with the biology in the soil. So this is probably, in my opinion, the best laundry detergent you can get, the Oasis. And I don't know that you can find it in any stores. Uh, if you do, it's, it'll be probably a specialty store, but um, you can order it online and uh, sometimes find free shipping. So, but uh, this particular one, it when the ingredients in here uh, biodegrade, they actually turn into plant nutrients. Um, if you, I don't know if you can see down here in the bottom, Oasis biodegrades into carbon dioxide, water, and plant nutrients. And then it goes into, you know, potassium and sulfur. Um, and they say no phosphate, sodium, or plant toxins does not make soil alkaline. The, the regular on the store laundry detergents, when they do biodegrade, they actually leave a, uh, a residue behind um, in the form of sodium or salt. And uh, buildup over time will turn your soil alkaline. And if the chemicals that, uh, that the detergent breaks down into don't kill your plants, the buildup of that salt in your soil eventually will just start burning them out. So uh, it's, it's not as easy as just going to the store, unfortunately, just yet. But, uh, you know, the more and more that this catches on, um, companies like Oasis, um, hopefully we'll get a better reputation in the stores and uh, we can find this stuff closer to home. Now, before using your gray water on whatever plants you choose, you want to make sure that you've got a nice mulch bed established. Uh, you see here I have a juniper that I planted uh, just last year. Nice thick mulch bed around it. This mulch bed will encourage uh, microorganisms to take up shop and colonize within the bed. And what they do is once the water drains, it will pass through the mulch and uh, any of that detergent uh, will get caught and those microorganisms will will begin to biodegrade and break down um, and turn it into plant nutrients a lot faster. So uh, it's just a kind of a, a way to speed up the process to help break it down into those plant nutrients so your plants can feed a lot faster. So there you have it, gray water recycling. Something that is simple and can be lucrative in regards to reducing your water bill and reusing resources that you already have. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you're considering setting up your own project, uh, let me hear about it. Uh, even if you have questions, let me know consider leaving a comment down below and uh, give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe for more videos to come. Thanks y'all.